Hello Divination and welcome. We have a brand new four part mini series for you. In this mini series, we'll be building a product review site using Extra. The goal of this mini series is to provide you with creative ideas which you can use in your own project. So, without wasting a lot of time, let's dive into our mini series. Okay, so before we get started, we need to have a few things in place. So first of all, you need a brand new install of Extra. So if you're a Divi member, you already have access to Extra and also any other themes that uh, come with the membership. So download your Extra, install it. And uh, also you're going to need a logo and the dimensions of that logo are 103 pixels by 63. And because this is a product review site, we'll be, we're going to need some images. So for this example, we're going to be using 12 images with dimensions of 1280 by 720. Now, these images can be collected from several places. Uh, we got ours from Shutterstock, but you can you know, take your own pictures or you could go to any of these royalty-free photos places. Okay, so this is a brand new install of Extra. So the first thing we're gonna do is to set up the uh, theme options. So we're gonna come over here to Dashboard. We're gonna come over here to Extra and click on Theme Options. So this is now time to upload our logo. So I'm just gonna come over here, click on Upload, Upload Files, Select Files, and then we need to navigate to the folder that has all your images. So my logo is right here in my Downloads folder. So I'm just gonna click and click Open. Right, so my logo is uploaded. I'm gonna click on select. Okay, so here, if you have a five icon, you can just add it here. But in this case, I don't really have that. So I'm gonna move on to the next item, which is the global accent color. So I'm gonna paste my color in here. And then over here on the sidebar location, we need to make sure that uh, it's set to no sidebar. So now we can go ahead and save our settings. So I've scrolled all the way down to the bottom of the page and I'm gonna click on save changes. So next we need to go into our theme customizer and make some adjustments to our typography. So we're gonna come over here to theme customizer. We're gonna click on general settings, typography settings. So let's start off with our heading text size. Let's set, up, let's set this up to 24 and our body text size to 20. Now here for the header line height, let's set it to 1.3. Our body line height is fine at 1.7. And then over here on our heading font style, let's make it bold. Now it's time to choose our heading font. So here we're gonna use Oswald. So I'm gonna click this drop down and search for my font. And it is right here. For our body font, we're gonna use Open Sans. So I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna scroll down until I get to Open Sans, which is right here. Okay, now it's time to set our body link color. So I'm just gonna click here and paste my color right in this area here. Now, if you'd like to use the exact colors, I'm going to link to the post that has all this information in the show notes below. So that's all we need to do here. Let's go ahead and click on save and publish. Okay, so let's go a few steps back and go to the background settings. So I'm gonna click here, click on background settings, and we need to add our background color. So I'm gonna click here and we're gonna add an RGBA value. So I'm just gonna highlight the contents in here and paste my RGBA value. And then we can go ahead and save and publish. Okay, so let's go a few steps back and uh, adjust our header and navigation area. So I'm gonna go back here, click on header navigation settings, header format settings, and we're gonna make sure that uh, this is centered. We're gonna save and publish. And now we need to adjust our primary menu bar settings. So I'm gonna click one step back and click on primary menu bar settings. Okay, so our menu height is fine at 124. Our logo height is also okay. The only thing we need to change here is the text size. So that needs to be set to 20. And then we can scroll down here until we see this background color. So I'm gonna click here and we're gonna change this to this as our background color. For our text color, I'm just gonna add my RGBA value. So I'm just gonna highlight the contents of these back brackets and paste my color in there. And then over here, my drop down background color, again, that needs to be set. Okay, so finally, we need to come over here to the drop down menu animation and we need to select flip in vertically. Okay, so that's the one. Now that we've added all these changes, let's click on save and publish. Now let's go to our secondary menu bar settings. So I'm gonna go back here, click on our secondary menu bar options. 
our text size needs to be set to 20. And then we're going to come over here to our background color and I'm just going to paste my hexadecimal color here. Now, as I'm making these changes, you can actually see it happening in real time over here. So next is the drop down menu. So I'm going to come over here again. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to paste my color in here. Right, let's come over here and adjust the, um, the trending text size. So this needs to be set to 16 so we can actually see what is trending. And this is the area right here at the top. So next is the search, cart, and icon text size. Again, that needs to be set at 16. And then over here on the search, cart, and icon background color, that needs to, the color needs to be changed. So again, I'm going to paste my color right in here like that. And we can see here that it's changed as well. Okay, so now that we set up our secondary menu bar settings, we need to go to the fixed menu bar settings. So let's go back a step and we're going to click on fixed navigation settings. So the menu height needs to be set at 60. And then here we need to make sure that we hide the logo image. And then the text size is fine at 16. And then all we have to do now is to add the background color. So I'm just going to paste it in here like that. And then I'm going to click on save and publish. So now it's time to set up our categories. So I'm going to close out of this and just make sure that this is saved because you don't want to lose all your settings. Right. So I'm going to close out of this and then we're going to come over here to our post and then click on categories. So this is where now we need to add all the categories that we're going to use. So I'm going to start with electronics. But of course, you know, you, you can customize this to whatever uh, your website is about. So I'm just going to use uh, the slug as electronics as well. And then over here for our color, we're going to use a color that we've used in our branding. So I'm going to come over here and paste my color right in here like that. Okay. And I'm going to click on add new category. So we can see here that this category is now added here. So now let's add a few more categories. So I'm going to come over here and uh, this time our category is going to be clothing. And we're going to come over here and change the, the category color. So I'm going to click this drop down and I'm going to paste my hexadecimal value. And then over here, we also need to add the slug. My slug is going to be clothing. So I'm going to paste it in here and then click on add new categories. So now we need to add a few more categories. So as you can see, we are using different colors for these categories because once the overall design is in place, this is going to really look beautiful. So I'm going to click on add to category. So now we have these four categories. So at a later stage uh, during this um, tutorial, we are going to be adding products in each of these categories. So pretty much this is what we need to do in this part one of this mini series. So I'm going to click on visit site. So what we've done here is we've created the foundation of the site and uh, all the areas that the content needs to go in. So in the next part, we are going to be adding all our products onto our website. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.